Nick Hilkins, outside the uh, London Stadium, West Ham Fan TV. Um, boys, I don't know what's going on. It's it's getting terrible. It's it's you know terrible performance. But you know the, the whole club's falling to pieces. It looks like. Well, all I can say for myself, I'm heartbroken. I've been supporting West Ham since I was 13, and I was saying to him, I've never seen it like this. It's just awful. This is, oh, you know, I can't even get upset anymore. You know what I mean? I don't know what he's, what he's got to say. Well, I think the board has brought it on themselves. I mean, uh, they might have stopped the march, but uh, the feeling was still there, and I think that frustration of the march being stopped has, has come out onto the pitch today. And um, I just think, you know, it's going to happen today. If we went 1-0 down, I could see that happening. Yeah. It was boiling, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, um, awful. The boys on the pitch, I mean... There doesn't seem to be any fight there, does there? There's one or two maybe putting in half a shift, but... I don't, if, I don't, I'm, if I'm honest, Nicky, the last couple of performances I've not been surprised. Normally I do back West Ham for most games. The last couple of games I've kept my mouth quiet and think, no, I can't see it. Just can't see it. It's like a box without a punch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just yeah. no yeah, fights really. it looks like, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, is there any way out of this? Can you see us getting the points to get, you know, at least stay up? And what if if we do get that chance to stay up, what do we do next season? Where do they go? What do they need to do? Well, they need a serious rocket at their arseholes, basically. You know what I mean? They need to wake up and find and listen to the fans because the fans uh, have had enough. They've been they've been fed a load of lies. We left up some park on a load of lies for 8.7 million quid. Brady took 10% of that on the wages, which is fucking despicable. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? We spent a lot of money. We spent like you know quite a lot of money going. I mean, personally, I just go to the home games. So like. You know, we're working people. We all spend our money to come here. Yeah. I know people spend a lot more going away games as well. You know what I mean? They deserve far more than this. And um, they need to realise this. They need to be part of us. They need to be a fan. I keep saying they're, they're fans, but I don't see it. They're just businessmen. They're not proper fans. Yeah. Yeah, I'll make that right. I'll make that right. What he just said, everything he just said there is 100 percent I mean I still live near the area. It breaks my heart walking down Green Street, what we've lost. We don't realise what we've lost. Yeah. Coming here, we're supposed to be whatever they they, they fantasize. It's more like Disney World to me. But um, you know, <laughs> I can't see where we're gonna go. I just hope to God that we do survive. This club can only go it's gonna I think go it'd be luck more than it's gonna be else. luck. It's gonna be luck. It's gonna be and it's gonna be I don't want to swear. It's going to be bloody hard to get. It's going to be hard. It's hard now, anyway. All right, boys. Thank you right, very much for coming much. on. Thanks Thank for talking to much. us. Pleasure. Talk to